There you go. Okay, everybody. Hi, and welcome to Body Sculpting. Open wide to shoulder width apart. Breathe it up three times. And down. This is our shorter version, our 45 minute version that we pair with Pilates on Wednesdays. Take it across. Good. You've got it. You've got four more. Four and three and two and one across the chest. Keep it open in the back. Come on. Four more. Four and three and two and up for four. Take it. Push. Two, three and four across. Yes. Two, three and up for two. Take it. One and two across. One and two again. One. And two, you got it. One and ends on the hips. Then point. Good through. Good through. Take it through. Four and three and two. The circles, the shoulder circles. All right. And forward. Four and three and two and one and open wide. Using your left hand, keep yourself lifted in a plie position. Take it down, reach across. Take it down, reach across. Take it down, reach across. Last time, it's up and over, big, big push. Nice job. Reach through. Good, put the right hand down. Grab the right bottom of the right ear with your left hand. Take it across and make sure you're in alignment. Bring it back to center for four and three, top over bottom, two and one other side. Take it down and reach, down and reach down and reach. Last time it's up and over. You're pulling up out of the hip. You're feeling that big wide extension. Good. Hand comes down, grab the bottom of the ear, take it across, make sure you're aligned. And let's go for the dive. Come back to center, right and left. Good. And now when you come over to these, you don't push past the hip line. Four and three and two. Let's sit behind it on one. Toes are up on the other side. So really pull yourself back into this. Don't hinge at the hip. The chest should be lifted just like in a squat or a lunge right here. And then turn and push through with the heel. You feel a slight lift in your hip, eyes ahead on the floor, knee over the ankle. Get that stretch nice and long. Nice, slide it in nose to knee. And come back on your heel. Nice, you want the feet to be moving in the same direction. So big white sumo squat. Roll the shoulder around, you're pulling from the hip. And you have a rotation all the way through the back. You should feel that happen. And then other side, good. Now don't put your shoulder up for this. A lot of people wanna shrug more. Doubles to the center, take a one and two, good. One and two, one and two, and singles up and over. You go left, bring it up, go right, bring it up, go left, bring it up, out and out, top over bottom, four and three, and two, and one, let's slide it over to the other side. Make sure that knee is over the ankle. Good, don't aggravate yourself. You're gonna put holes in your body. I'm gonna get you some pain, uh, stress relievers. All right, and take it around, push back. Good job, push through. Nice, feel that heel extending, and then uh, draw it in nose to knee. Nose to knee. All right, good job. Come back on your heel. Perfect. Pivot to the front, take the right hand or left hand over the right ankle and pull down. So a lot of stuff gets generated from the hip. Flat hands to the center, wag your tail and then over to the other side. Nice. Come back to the center, soften your knees, shrug up, shrug up, shrug up, shrug up. Roll the shoulders back, roll the shoulders forward. Lift your chest out and breathe it up three times. Take it up and down. Two more up and down. Last time up and down. Get your light weights. I'm going to first show you the leg part of this. Oh, sorry, just one weight. And first, I'm going to show you first the leg part of this and then how we're going to combine the arms. So, this is going to be the breakdown here at the beginning. A little more light on me. First, we go into the curtsy squat. So the or curtsy lunge. So the curtsy lunge goes across the back leg. You try to keep your knee forward, right? And then to the other side. Now what we're going to do with the arms while we do this is we're gonna take the arm up. We're gonna take it across over to the ankle. Then when we come back, we lift it up to the other side. Good, and take it across over the ankle. Lift it up and pass it over. 
All right, so we're ready to do that. Let's start with the right hand. So the um, weight is always in the hand of the leg that's going to do the crossing. You got that? The leg that's going to do the crossing. All right, so bring it up. Take it across and lift, pass it over, down and up, pass it over, down and up, pass it over. Good. You've got it. Good. So we're getting all a bunch of work here. Nice. Cross and lift. Cross and lift. It's kind of like kettlebell work where you just kind of go light with the movements between the hand weights and the bottom. Good. Nice. Take it across lift and I'm trying not to go too fast but if you have to slow it down that's great because you want to be technical right you want to make sure you come down as close to that knee as knee to the ground as possible good take it across and lift take it across and lift take it across and lift so keep going you're trying to touch into that ankle so keep going so as you pull forward that emphasizes the glute just a little bit more. Cross and open. Let's see, across and open. I think that's where you are. Across and open, across and open. Let's go, keep going. Nice, you've got it. Push it through, perfect. And now we go for the three count and get ready. Take a nice deep breath. We're gonna slow it down. Cross, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift. Now if, keep going, two, three, lift. This is hard on your knees. Just take it right behind the leg and there won't be any torque in those knees. Good, one, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. And I ask you for a lighter weight so that the handoff is not as um, much of a challenge for your shoulders. Lift, one, two, three, lift. Over, two, three, lift. Come on, keep going. Lift, do you wanna reach back with that last, or that back leg? Over, two, three, lift. Over, two, three, lift. Over, two, three, you got it. Nice, perfect. Over, two, three, nice. Over, two, three, keep going. Over, two, three, perfect. Over, two, three, good. Over, two, three, perfect job. Over, two, three, come on. Over, two, three, nice. Over, two, three, reach toward the ankle. Over, without hinging at the hip. Make sure you step back with that leg. Yes, I keep creeping closer, closer camera. Two, three, lift. Over, two, three, lift. Over, two, three, lift. Over, two, three, lift. Over, two, three, right here, hold it here. Now you're gonna hold this position, take it across a little bit, and we're gonna lift and lower. Good, you've got it, push through, nice. What I try to do, keep going. What I try to do in these shorter classes is do a lot of combination work so that your upper body and lower body can get all worked out even though we're not doing the isolations and the high rep overload. Come on, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, you got it, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now bring it down, put it on your waist, pulse down, 20, 19, 18, good, 17, again, if this hurts your knee, bring the other leg back in toward the right a little bit. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it up, and we're going back to single or triples. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, and lift. 1, 2, 3, and lift. 
one, two, three. You got it. One, two, three. Perfect job. Now remember, two, three. There's a lot of generosity in your hips. Two, three, and lift. So you can actually move that leg around without rotating your body. One, two, three. I don't know what side we're on, but I'll go here. Two, three. Good. One, two, three. Lift. One, two, three. Lift. One, two, three. Lift. One, two, three. You've got it. One, and then we're going to hold on the other side. Right here. No, two, three. Now the other side. And one, two, three. Hold. Lift and lower. Good. Three, four, five, six. You've got it. Seven. Good. Make sure that leg is reaching back there and it's bent. Nine. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Good job. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Nice. Three. Two. One hand on the hip. Take it. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. Step out into wide leg. Wide leg. Feet driven forward. Sit back. And we're going to add the weight in just a second after we do 20 of these. 3. Exhale up. 4. All right, don't hinge at the hip. Five, you're just pushing your glute back. Six, nice. Seven, eight, perfect job. Nine, just get yourself moving back on the heel. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, good job. Seven, six, five, Four, nice. Three, two, and one. Hold it here. Take it down. Reach up. Two, nice. Three, you've got it. Four, five, six. Keep passing it on. Seven, of course, this is a kettlebell move. Eight, that if we have that, nine, we can use it. Ten more. Ten. Nine, eight, you've got it. Seven, six, nice. Sit back, five, four, nice. Three, two, one, and now three count. One, two, three, and lift. Down, two, three, lift up. Two, three, two, three, and here's number four. Good. And good, number five, number six, nice, number seven, just getting that squat in, number eight, we're just holding the weight down there, nothing's happening to it, nine, ten, sit back, sit back, sit back, eleven, good, twelve, one, two, three, I lost my count, thirteen, two, three, Lift, 14, good, 15, good, 16, nice, 17, good, 18, 19, and 20, hold it here. Now we lift and lower for 20, two, three, good. Four, you've got it. Stay in that squat. Five, make sure your knees are over your ankles. Six, and you're back on your heels. Seven, eight, nine, good. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, good. Seven, six, good job. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to do the three count. One, two, three, and lift. One, two, three, reach it up. One, two, three, keep going. Only 10 of these, and then we'll go to the other side. So we have seven more. Good. Nine, uh, eight, six, 
five, four, good, three, three, and lift, two, two, three, and lift, and one, we're right here, and we're taking it down, lift, and lower, two, three, good job, keep going, four, and now stay in that uh, five, in that position, six, keep going, seven, really push back, feel yourself making that commitment to that line from your head to your tailbone, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, good job, seven, six, five, four, sit back on it, three, nice, two, and one, and lift yourself up. Now we're not done with this position. So just right here, we're gonna go down and lift one side, down, lift the other. Three, four, five, six, you've got it. Seven, eight, nine, lift, 10, keep it going. 10, you know something good is coming up. Nine, you've got it. Eight, Good job. Seven, six, five, lift, lift, four, you've got it, three, two, and one. Make sure you take it all the way back. Arm out to the side, right here. Take it down and lift, down and lift, down and lift, down and lift. Down and lift. I know it's hard. And we'll take it slow, down and lift, down and lift, down and lift. Take your time, down and lift. Or I'm out to the side, almost. And lift, down 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 and lift. Four more, three, two, and one. And hold it right there, come down, pulse it, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, eyes ahead on the floor, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and we circle the legs right here. Again, kettlebell work right here, around and around. Three, four, now I want you to pay attention, five, which direction it's going in, six, because you're gonna reverse it at 10, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, if you started in front, come to the back, one, come around, two, two, good, three, four, five, Six, come on, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and bring that up, shake those legs out. Okay, there were a lot of combinations of that opening sequence. I know it was a little bit difficult to follow, but you did it. You made a point. You got there. Let's do some push-ups. Rooster says, you gotta be kidding me, push-ups again, mommy? Yeah, afraid so, Rooster. You're really good at them, though. All right, you have to be super aware of what your push-up position is. One of the things you wanna do is get your chest as close to the floor as possible. If you can do that with extended legs, please join me on the bent legs. We wanna make sure our hands are positioned so the chest is the muscle that we're pushing out, right? Not the shoulders, that's gonna create a lot of complication in the you know rotator cuff so we'll make sure we're in that position you inhale down and exhale up we're going to do one straight set and then we got some other kinds of sets to do we're going to do five 20 sets all together okay and then we'll go right to pilates so we're going to surround your chest with those hands walk the knees back or push the legs back eyes ahead on the floor pull your belly button to your spine Take it down and one. So is your chest getting down there or are you just pumping your arms? Three, 
So that's really important. I see a lot of people just crease their arms and they wing their five, they wing their shoulders so it feels like their chest is going down. They're not putting their uh, shoulder blades together and opening that chest, seven. So you want to make sure that you're doing the full open, eight, nine, 10 more, let's open, 10, nine, you got it, eight, good job, seven, push, six, last five, and four, and three, and two, last one, sit up, and reach back to your heels, so you open your chest up, nice. Take a nice deep breath right here. Beautiful, so our second set is gonna be opening to one side only. So we're gonna um, push up and then open to the first side. It can be the front side. We'll do that for 20, we'll take a break. We'll do that on the other side. And that'll take us all the way up to 60. So we're moving pretty fast here. So let's see how this looks. Good, take it down and one, good. So it should look like a beautiful modified side plank. Three, open, four, do the whole push up, five, good job. Eyes ahead on the floor, six, don't lift your lower the head. Good, seven, use your chest, not your shoulders. Eight, right? One of the things you can feel, nine, it's like you're dropping your chest ahead of your chest. 10, like it's going upward as you're going down. 10 and reach. Nine and reach. Eight. Seven. Lift. Six. You got it. Five. Push up. Four. Nice job. Three. Perfect. Two and one and sit back. I'm gonna switch around because we're gonna to go to the other side. All right, reach back to your heels so that you're always opening your chest and your shoulders. How does your neck feel? Does it feel nice and loose? Okay, we're 40 in. We only need to do what we did one and a half more times. All right, other side. So you might be turning away from the camera. Let's go. One, lift. Two, you've got it. We don't have to go fast. Three, perfect. Four, nice. So five, if your shoulders are hurting, six, because you worked them out in that first workout. Seven, that means you're not in the right position. The load should be on your chest. Eight, good job. Nine, 10 more. Lift, 10. Nine, nice job, eight, perfect, seven, keep going, six, complete the plank, don't roll back too soon, five, so make sure you feel yourself all the way to the side at the top of your body, four, lift and hold, three, lift and hold, two, nice, and one, and lift. All right, come on back. So now we have fewer to do than we did. So that's kind of good news, right? So now we're gonna do another variation where it's gonna take both sides. We're gonna have one hand in front of the other. So we are gonna work a little bit of the shoulder on the side that is extended. So the position, you have one hand in the regular spot. You just want it one hand ahead. Like if there's a hand in between. So. What you can do is put your hand at the top of your other hand and slide it across. And that's gonna be your position for us to 20. Try to get those elbows to go back. One, good. Two, perfect. Three, nice. Four, so why do we do this? Five, two reasons. Six, we can isolate the pec on this side. Seven, and work the upper pec on the other side. Eight, good job. Nine, 10 more, good, 10. Try to drag those elbows back. Nine, you've got it, try to go down. Eight, seven, perfect, six, good job. Take your time, five, exhale up, four, exhale up, three, 
push it through two and one let's go to the other side well let's sit back first and then we'll go to the other side somebody here is eating his paw too much i wonder who it is anybody know who it is yeah you're volunteering okay let's do the other side rooster last set all right take that hand across it's in front let's go one good two all the way down three good four perfect five six seven you got it eight push up nine ten more ten really go deep remember to pause at the bottom nine we always pause everywhere we're going that's called peaking eight so you pause and then bring it up seven you don't bounce off the bottom six five four good job three two and one and now we sit back into child pose congratulations if you did all 100 of those take a nice deep breath right there all right let's grab a weight and get onto our backs i want a heavier one so this is going to be triceps so i'm going for a heavier weight than i do with my shoulders that's entirely up to you remember to put your um legs up if you have back concerns and if you don't you can be down here all right one arm up make sure it's over the shoulder right then bring it to the eyes this is going to be a longer set than usual belly button to the spine so you're protected or your legs up if you need to protect your back now remember if you have your legs crossed only switch arms cross them the other way so when you lower the weight comes down it's called head bangers right so the idea is that you come down and bang your head. If you have it on the shoulder where it belongs, then you're not going to bang your head. You're going to come beside, behind your ear, up and down. And now again, I, ta I talked about this the other day. The reason I insist on kind of shoulder width on these exercises is when you use the bar up in the weight room, you don't have the option of moving your arm into your face, right? Let's go. We're going to do 30 of these. So there's 20 more, 20, 19, and I like isolating them, 17, 16, this is one of the hardest muscles to work, 15, because it doesn't get residual work during the day, 14, 13, professional volleyball players, you're good, 12, 11, 10, don't roll the wrist, 9, it's getting heavy, 8, perfect, seven, take it all the way to straight, but not hyperextended, six, five, here we go, we feel it, four, I hope you're using heavy weight, three, because I feel it already, two, and one, let's pass it over, arm over the shoulder, then move it back, weight behind the ear, one, two, three, you got it, four, good job, five, six, seven, eight, nine, exhale up. Did you change your legs? 20 more. If you had them crossed, 20. Good. 19, pull that belly in. 18, let's protect everything. 17, it's a peak in every direction. 15, 14, 13, yes. 12, it's so much easier to do with two weights when you get the support across your back. You've got it, 10 more, 10 nine but we don't have that when we do singles eight and seven six you got it five four keep pushing three nice two and one pass it over so my goal is to make it hard for you to put your shirt on tomorrow so there you go halfway all the way halfway up two hold it half and three, watch the wrist, make it long. Four, don't over grip that weight. Nice, five, and we're gonna pulse at the bottom. We're doing 26, right beside the ear. Seven, you're landing beside your head. Eight, but I use the ear so you stay shoulder width apart. Nine, 10 more, 10. We got 10 descending, 10, 
Really hang on to it. Make sure you breathe. Nine, eight, seven. Nice job. Six. So on these shorter body sculpting days, five, I try to pick one thing to do a high rep overload on instead of all of them, four. And today it's this tricep, three. Good. Two. Last one, bring it down for the pulse. So you go bottom, bottom, middle, bottom, middle, bottom, middle. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You got it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Push it up on one. All right. Over your eye, but out to the side, halfway all the way. Take it down, down, up, one. Down, down, up. Two, make sure you stop at the bottom. Don't push through. Three, every step is a pause. Four, don't let that shoulder move. Five, down, down, up. Six, down, down, up. Seven, down, down, up. Eight, down, down, up. Nine, come on, pull that belly in. Ten more. Ten. Nine, you got it. Eight, good job. Seven, perfect. Six, five, four, keep going. Three, two, pulse it at the bottom. 20, 19, 18, so bottom, middle, 17, 16, 15, 14. Watch the turnout, so don't let it drift out. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. Pass it over to the other side. Down for a three count. Drive it up for one. One, two, three, push. One, we won't have pulses on this one because this is all pulses. Three, push, four, push, five, push, six, push. Good, you got it. This is number eight, nice. Nine, 10 more, 10, nine, eight. Come on, we gotta, we gotta really tire this tricep out. Six, you got it. Five, four, don't let that shoulder engage. Three, it's just hanging out there. Two, and one, and hand it over to the other side. Again, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Just get you back in the rhythm. Three, good. Four, so you should be reciting the one, two, three in your head. Five, one, two, three, six. Don't let that shoulder move. If you have to hold it with your arm, go ahead. Eight, one, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four. Three, two, and a one. And now you can change it, but I'm going to leave it right here so you can see what I'm doing in this next exercise. So you need to put your elbow by your waist right here and tight to your body. So as you push up, that's a tricep extension, right? So you're pushing from the back. So what we're going to do is push up, take it back, bring it up and bring it down. Two, good, nice. So you're on the other side, but I'm using my super tired arm. So let's hope I make it through four. And down now every time make sure it comes by the waist five so you can push it up with that tricep six so we did a lot of biceps yesterday seven and centering and strengthening high biceps eight so if you're looking to work those smaller muscles nine download these two days after they're posted ten more nice ten good you've got it nine good we're feeling it Eight, 
all and a little bit of the rare deltoid too, right? Seven, I don't want to stop because I want to make sure I make it all the way through. I always want to stop when I talk. I can do two things at once, can't I? That's last five. Good. Four. Good. I really want to work these triceps. Three. Nice. Two. Last one. You've got it and bring it all the way down. Let's go to the other side. Same thing right by your waist. Up, back, up, that's one. So I hope you're using your heavier weight because this is a big supported muscle. That's three. And also, you know, you want to get really strong there. We know we call it uh, flagging arms in the parade while you're waving and the back of the arm is flagging around. We don't want to be that person if we can avoid it. I mean, age is going to take some of the elasticity and toning out of our body. That's true. But, and some of us, we're not going to be able to avoid it. I'm probably one of those people. But we're going to work as hard as we can, not only because we want that toning, but for the health of the muscle, right? And for the health of everything surrounding it. Because little things happening in your um your bicep and your tricep and in your shoulder can affect your back and your neck. So we don't want all that residual effect because we thought, oh, I'm never going to make this tricep strong enough or that we only do it to make it strong and pretty. We have to make it healthy. We want to be healthy. I think it's four more. I stopped counting because I was talking too much. And three, Nice. And two. Last one. And you did an amazing job and we'll stretch all of that out at the end. Okay, we have one more thing to do before the short version of uh, Body Sculpt Observer. So I need you to tilt your feet so the top edge of your shoes are um, touching and the bottom edge are on the floor. So it kind of looks like, looks like that. There we go. We are going to lift it to a, a bridge and lower. Now, remember that we do this sequentially. We take it up vertebrae by vertebrae, and we bring it down vertebrae by vertebrae. We inhale, and then exhale as we go up. We inhale, and we exhale as we go down. Those legs are apart for a reason. You'll find out after we do 20 of these. So our number five. Five. I like to slow these down. Six. Seven, take it up. Nice. Eight, good. Bring it down. Nine, lift it up. Ten more. Nice. Ten, we don't have very much time, so we won't do the whole sequence. Nine, but I have mine. So we have a Pilates class to go to. Eight. Nice. Seven, and we take that up. Good. Six. Good. Five. Good, really lift. So your lifting is done through that transverse abdominal, not the, the cinching of the glute. Four, pull it up so you pull under, right? Three. Nice. Two. And of course, we're going to hold it up here on one because you know who I am. Take it up here. Now it's in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can feel that in your hips. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. Lift. Sixteen, fifteen, fourteen. 13, 12, 11, 10, come on, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and lower it back down. You're going to bring those knees to your chest, and you're just going to hug them with your hands underneath the knees and pull that back into a nice long extension and put those feet on the floor. You're going to put your elbows at the side of your waist and your palms facing one another. 
you're going to push in and arch your chest up and take your head, tilt it back so that you're almost standing on your head. You're opening your throat and your chest and your thyroid, and you're getting all this opening here that you need after doing push-ups. Push through and lower down. Do a counter stretch by putting your hand at the bottom of your head and curl it back up. So you're getting that counter stretch. This all comes from yoga, you guys know that. And then all the way down, you want to put your hands together, invert them and push them up to the ceiling over your chest. Nice. And then take them behind you to get that bicep and shoulder stretch. So be careful with this. You don't want to go past your point of resistance because you don't want to wing out those shoulders. I know I'm preaching boundaries on these weights, on these stretches, and bring it all the way down. All right, extend the front leg, curl the back leg in for a nice big stretch right here. Nice. Extend that leg up. Ooh, we're going to take the ankle in one direction and then the other, and then walk up, walk up, walk up. Big inhale and exhale, lower. Good job. Big inhale and exhale, lower. Big inhale and exhale, lower. Let's hold it right there. Nice. Really let, let yourself breathe into it. There you go. Lower your head. Bend that knee and take a cross into your spinal twist right here. So your head and shoulders are flat on the mat. Take okay. feeling and you're curled across. There you go. Bring it back to center. Bring this leg in and extend that leg out. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Take it up. Rotate your ankle one direction and the other. Walk up, walk up, walk up. Big inhale and exhale, lower. Come on, big inhale and exhale. You've got it. Big inhale and exhale and hold it right here. Breathe into it, feel it come closer and closer as you breathe. Lower your head, bend the knee and take it across to the other side. Nice. I want you to bring your legs up and put your hands underneath your knees and bring yourselves up to seated. And then we're taking our hands behind our back to open from all those push-ups. Yeah. Nice. Lower your arms and roll your shoulders back and roll your shoulders forward. Let's come up for washing machine. After workout like that, it'll feel good to loosen up our bodies. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center. Breathe up and down. Two more up and down. Last time up and down. And thank you for